Hey y'all, it's Maggie Bot. Uh, I was going to do a quick vlog life update thing. Um, so the last couple weeks have been super eventful. The next week and a half it's going to be super, well, eventful for me and less eventful for anyone else because I will likely not be online that much. Um, so Extra Life was the weekend before this last one and it was so wonderful. We raised $15,000 as a group and I, myself, for that group raised $1,300, which in the grand scheme of things is not an amazing amount of money, but I feel like it was a good thing. It feels like a lot of money to me. Like, especially when you consider that it was me and my friends from the board game community and the Twitter community. We're all kind of pulling from the same pool. You guys are just so friggin' generous, it hurts me. Um, I did a auction for a bunch of games that were sitting around my house. And that went over really, really well, maybe too well, because I ended up having to ship, let's see, I spent $200 at the post office today, so that's how much I shipped. For better or worse, it was totally worth it. I feel a little bad because people were very much wanting like a very personal experience and a personal email and I was copy pasting everything because it was just so many emails to get out and I have to get it shipped like now, otherwise I have a whole week before I'm back into town, before I can do more. So, if any of you bought stuff from me for my BGG auction, just know that I really, really appreciate it. I'm sorry if I came across a little bit more business-like than I normally would, but in honestly, I'm not that fruity with my words anyway. So, um, I do appreciate you. I appreciate all of it. I hope everything worked out okay. And for the few people that backed out, didn't want their games anymore, it's totally fine. That stuff happens. Sometimes you want to like bump up the auction price so you you bid on something you don't really want and then it comes around to you won that thing. It's totally okay. Um, that happened with three games. I have since already sold one of them for more donations to Extra Life. So it's all good. Um, I got a very long apology about one of them and I just, it's really okay. Um, for games that I haven't yet played that are in my house, I have two, three, four, five, six, seven that are still in Trink, and one other one that's unplayed, plus the ones I had unplayed before. It's been a very long month. But uh, earlier tonight, I got a video recorded for the gallerist. I hope that it's good. Um, one problem with not scripting my videos, which I actually prefer, I like a little more conversational style. Um, I don't script my videos, but for the gallerist, I may have considered an outline because I don't have enough time to record another one. And so if what I'd like to say is not in the video, I may not actually put it out in public. Or I may cut it down really harshly and then do another video after BGGCon because the gallerist is, is going to be very important in the the current Euro gaming meta. Important might be the wrong word, but it's going to be a big hit and it's very good and it deserves more attention than it's getting even though it had a lot of hype behind it. I just haven't seen a lot of reviews, but maybe I'm out, out of the loop on those things. Uh, that could be. So for BGG Con, I get there uh, Wednesday afternoon. Wednesday afternoon. I have very few things planned. I have an early Thursday, I have all of Friday evening planned, I have a Wednesday evening plan, and I think that's all the scheduled stuff. Uh, the two things I would like to accomplish is to meet each and every one of you that is going to be there, and if you would like to learn the gallerist. I want to see how many copies we can round up and try and do like a massive teaching all at once. I'm going to see how many people have brought it and how many are in the library and how many Griffin have and see if we can't get like four or five games of the gallerist going at the same time. I think that would be kind of fun. I have not planned it, but I have faith in myself that if I can pull it together on like Saturday is my goal then I will, and if I don't, then I won't really care. But I think it would be really fun to have that happen. Um, for BGGCon, if you see me, you are more than welcome to come up and say hello. 
It is super helpful if when you say hello, you say what your username is on however I know you. So if you follow me on YouTube or Twitter or whatever, you just give me your handle. I will have a much better idea of who I'm talking to and we will have a more meaningful interaction if I also know who you are. Because as long as we've talked in the past, I most likely know who you are. Um, if you've never said anything to me online and you just followed my stuff, that's perfectly fine too. Still, you can come say hello. If I need more players, you are more than welcome into my games. Um, I am looking forward to playing many, many games at BGGCon. I'm hoping to keep the lighter, lovelier stuff, like the code names type stuff, to a minimum. I, I know that... If it's a million people, which is nice, you can play a 12-player game of Codenames and all that, but I am much happier when I can play a 4-player Euro than playing 12-player anything. Um, that's all for that. I'm going to start cutting together some gallerist footage after I make dinner. And um, other than that, I played Favor of the Pharaoh. I played it like three, four times now. Four times. So Favor of the Pharaoh is the, the predecessor, or the successor to to court the king and I was super excited about it and no one understood why and now that I've played it I'm still super excited about it and no one understands why but it's just so darn fun it's a cool dice rolling game with a very simple mechanic you roll dice and each turn you have to lock at least one and each round or each turn you have you can buy one tile and the tiles give you more dice or they give you dice manipulation at the end of the game you have to roll the most of the highest dice you can and whomever can do that wins. And that's it. That's simple and lovely and wonderful and I loved it. I also got to teach Loop Inc. So I taught it to my friend Zen who's in town and Suzanne. And then I got to teach it again the next, uh, the following evening which went much smoother because the first time you teach that game it's a little hard to stress which parts of the game are going to be important to people. And the second time, it's way easier to kind of feel out what's going to be confusing and what's going to be important. So really cool light game for Michael Griffin. I'm pretty excited, and the art is just stunning. I actually have a copy. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, for heavy stuff, uh, I'm very... At, at BGG, I will at least get one more game of Food Chain Magnet, if not two. And I would like to get a Ponzi scheme with folk that will enjoy that type of game. Um, I got my copy of Domus Domini today, and I played that once at Sasquatch, so I'm very excited to play that some more times. And, oh, for more light stuff. Light stuff right now is on point. Um, Gold West is pretty darn good. That's a clever hour-long game. Fits four players just fine, and you can teach it really easily. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> Alright, that's probably enough for me to, for now. I should probably go make dinner and then I will put together my gallerist video and hope 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 that it's postable. If not, you will hear more about the gallerist after I get back from BGG. Bye 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 bye.